so name of the new chapter we are going to study is natural vegetation and wildlife so our country india is one of the 12 mega bio, mega biodiversity countries in the world india occupies 10th place in the world and 4th in the asia in plant diversity the country has many non flowering plants such as ferns algae and fungi so natural vegetation means a plant community which is grown naturally without any human aid and has been left undisturbed by the human beings for a long time this is also known as virgin vegetation so flora means plants of a particular region or period and species of animals are referred as fauna let's talk about the relief in relief let's see about the land land affects natural vegetation both directly and indirectly nature of the land influences the type of vegetation fertile land is devoted to agriculture undulating and rough terrains these are the areas where grasslands and woodlands develop and give shelter to variety of wildlife next is soil soils also vary over space different so types of soils they provide basis for different types of vegetation sandy soils of the desert they support cactus and thorny bushes while wet and marshy deltoic soils they support mangroves and deltoic vegetation hill slopes with some depth they have conical in next is climate first let's see about temperature the character and extent of the vegetation they are determined by temperature along with the humidity precipitation and soil on the slopes of the himalayas the fall in the temperature it affects the vegetation and growth and it changes from tropical to subtropical temperate and alpine vegetation next is photo period also known as sunlight so the variation in duration of sunlight at different places this variation is due to differences in latitude altitude season and also difference of the day so longer duration of sunlight makes trees grow very fast in the summer next is precipitation so forests are renewable sources renewable resources they play a major role in enhancing the quality of environment they also modify the local climate control the soil erosion regulates the stream flow support a variety of industries and provide livelihood for many communities and also offer us a scenic view for recreation it controls the wind force temperature and also causes rainfall it provides humus to the soil and also shelters to the wild animals so india's natural vegetation has undergone many changes due to factors such as growing demand for cultivation land development of industries mining urbanization and overgrazing of pastures next is ecosystem so plants occur in distinct groups of communities in areas having similar climatic conditions so nature of plants in an area to a larger extent determines the animal life also in that area so when the vegetation is altered animal life also changes all the plants and animals of an habitat they are interdependent and interrelated to each other in their physical environment and thus they form an ecosystem so human beings also form an important part of ecosystem they utilize the vegetation and wildlife the greed of the human beings leads to over utilization of these resources they cut the trees and kill the animals creating ecological imbalance so due to this animals and plants have reached the verge of extinction so large ecosystem on land having distinct types of vegetation and animal life are known as biome
biome are identified as basis of plants let's talk about types of vegetation major types of vegeta vegetation identified in india are tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest tropical thorn forest and shrubs mountain forest and mangrove forest let's study in detail about these five types of forests tropical evergreen forests are restricted to heavy rainfall areas of the western ghats and islands of lakshadweep andaman nicobar upper parts of assam and tamil nadu coast trees reach up to a height of 60 meters or more and the region is always warm and wet throughout the years it has a luxuriant vegetation of all kinds trees shrubs creepers they give it a multi layer structure so there is no definite time for to shed their leaves so that is reason forests appear green all over the year important types of trees found here are ebony mahogany rosewood rubber and cinchona and common animals found here are elephants monkey lemur and deer One horned rhinoceros are also found in jungles of Assam and West Bengal. Birds, bats, sloth, scorpions and snakes are also found in these jungles. So in this image we are able to see the tropical evergreen forest. Next let's see about tropical deciduous forests. They are the most widespread forests of India. They are also called the monsoon forests. Trees of this forest shed their leaves for about 8 weeks in summer on the basis of availability of water forests are divided into moist and dry deciduous they receive rainfall between 200 and 100 cm forests exist mostly in the eastern part of the country northeastern states along himalayas jharkhand west orissa chatisgarh and slopes of western ghats Trees found in this forest are teak, bamboo, shawl, shisham, sandalwood, kaer, kusum, arjun and mulberry. These dry deciduous forests they found in areas where rainfall is between 100 cm to 70 cm. Forests are found in rainier parts of peninsular plateau and in the plains of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. They are open stretches in which teak, sal, peepal and neem grow. A large part of this region has been cleared for cultivation purpose and grazing purpose. Animals found in this forest are lion, tiger, pig, deer and elephant. This is the image of tropical deciduous forest. 